We have a very thin uh, plastic sleeve on top of the mandrel. This is just a separation layer in order to deform or put the man pull the mandrel easier out of the mold. This one is uh, separated from the tube after so it doesn't stay inside. So you can see the robot reads the code of the tube so he needs to know it's a down tube, it's a top tube, so which tube it is and it starts braiding. Here we do a multi-layer braiding usually between uh, four and six layers and the technology we have, have here is LSW means load specific weave. By adjusting the speed of the mandrel we can adjust the fiber angle so the faster we go the more close to zero the angle is or the slower the more we have 45 degree which is optimal for torsion. Pass this around so this is braiding taken off. Now you can see there's a multiple layer, the top now once is taken off, it's no more tight. But as you can see on this one, it sits very tight, the fibers are very precise in the position, in the angle. So it's each each tube is one to one the same. Around this wheel we have 128 carbon rowings. One rowing is consisting of 6,000 very very fine filaments. And for those who have never uh, seen carbon fiber, I mean the special thing about carbon is that it can only take load in tension. Very, very simple to show. Once I make a node into the into the fiber, it gets uh, a lot side load, and it's very easy to break. You can try yourself. So that's why it's very important to have the fibers in the direction of the logs. That makes the strongest composite you can have. It's quite hard to first you go in, in this direction and then you need to make sure that once you pull back that you don't pull the fibers. So this was very challenging for us to make this happen, but it's all in the details of the process. You have also seen once we go for the third layer, basically we turn the whole mangroves and we restart. This is to make sure the fibers are very tight on the mandrel. Once we have the four layers applied, there is a small glue gun basically closing, closing the end here. To cut dry fiber is very difficult, but once there is glue in between the fibers, it's easy to cut with a diamond wheel. So you can see um, that part of the way of the robot. So on the side there is a small diamond cutter, so he will cut the tube once it's cured. So now is the last layer applied and you will see the glue gun soon. So each individual tube, uh, down tube, top tube, chain stay, tube stay, 
all the tubes they have a specific uh, optimized program regarding speed, how many layers, what's the angles, in order to uh, have the best performance of the product. This is the glue gun applying the glue. You can see the mandrel is turned, so it's making kind, kind of a glue seam. And once this is done, it takes two minutes to cure, and then it's cut. So I don't want to wait two minutes without nothing to see. So um, let's move on. Ah, actually, sorry. We have to wait because this one needs to go to the next step. <laughs>